Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program p p picture time story story time picture time it's oh shit um it's really early in the morning I have to get ready for work but I wasn't able to do anything yesterday for a video today so this is gonna have to be a raw unedited cut and I thought maybe it would be kind of cool just to strum through some pictures of your favorite game now okay so these are obviously from the career 10 percent science mode i love the snow though i just wish that it wasn't so deep that they couldn't you know that they were literally buried in it even even though the buriedness of the snow is cool it'd be nice if uh, you know what i mean i don't have to explain myself okay there's there's a yeah sure there's a uh that's a that's there it is we all know who this is this is the badass little orange uh science plane and of course, that was the very first Orion uh, attempt for a passenger SSTO. That is not 10% science mode. That is when we uh, did the whole decal for uh, the shield, the um, heat shield, which I thought was pretty cool. Ooh, that was the first attempt for a moon, moon shot. Remember that video? And there it is. Boy, that thing looks crazy. I mean, it got to the moon, yeah, and just didn't have enough Delta V to land and take off. Oh, there's a newer Orion with the passenger and stuff. It's got a little, I don't know if you can see that, it's got the little heat shield thing going on right there. That was the attempt of a hovercraft to land on top of the buildings and get science. I heard a rumor that you could get science landing on top of the buildings, so I tried it out. Eh, some of them, some of them are like that. Not all of them. Hmm. That was before we had elevons or any way to control the craft other than reaction wheels. Sort of worked. Not really. This was the second attempt. Luna 2. I don't think this one landed on the surface. It still didn't have enough delta V. So, there you go. I think that one... Did that one land? No. This one got close to landing, but it didn't quite land because of the fact that I wasted too much fuel trying to get to the moon. You have to remember this is... 10% science mode, so, and it's career mode, so the, um, we don't have maneuver nodes, or at least we didn't back then, so we had to kind of guess where we were going. Sometimes we'd guess wrong, and we'd end up burning a lot of fuel just getting there. This was going to be a thing. It was going to be the first passenger SSTO, but, again, I didn't have enough science to unlock, um, elevons and stuff, so that was a no-go. Eh, selfie on the moon. This is when we finally landed. Yeah, version 3. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe we did land on that one. Hold on. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, up, up, up. Too far. Yeah, because these came off. These were, these were, these were on, um, uh, decouplers, and they, they came off. And so the bottoms would be, the bottom of the craft would be flat, and sure enough, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, we did make it to the moon, apparently. Uh, just having memory problems here. Very cool. Yep, very cool. Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, we did make it to the moon, land for the first time, and then mosey on back to Kerbin. Nice. That was the cursed flight, if, anybody, if everybody remembers that. And it looks like that's it for this column of pictures. I have to, re you know, I have to put more in there. But let me go ahead and back out of here. Okay, so aircraft. Holy shit, this is f old. We're about four minutes in. Look how old that is. <laughs> oh, wow. That was the original cockpit for the space shuttle in KSP. This was a really bad attempt of making a helicopter back in the day before. Remember, we, I mean, look, eh, look at this. Is that, that's huge, right? Is that huge? I think this, yeah, this is the, um, a lot of, a lot of parts we don't have. This was like version, what, 0. 0.24, 0. 0.21. Oh my, look how old this sucker is. Holy crap. What? <laughs> Look, these are the resources are that they are separated. They're in their own little column. Wow. Oh, that was recent. A little uh, tin can for a uh, uh, aircraft. Oh my goodness, the uh, F117, which at the time I didn't uh I didn't think about it, but it it's like, you know, I thought 117. Hey, Spartan 117. Cool. We can make it. We can call it Spartan. Uh, there's already a aircraft out there 117. 117 black um is it is it blackbird i forget it's the one that looks like it's made out of straight angles the original firefly you can tell how old it is because that piece right there that small little reaction wheel is the size of a normal size reaction wheel 
at this moment in time because this is before they shrink it down. Wow. And the air intake too. The Oh look. <laughs> okay, moving on. Oh the VTOL Explorer. This is when I downloaded Parallax for the first time. I took a I built a ship real quick to go explore the different biomes. Pretty cool. Oh wow. Look at the cockpit. That's so old. This is when I was playing around with BD Armory, so I made a really badass fighter. Oh, there it is. Yep, that's the uh, VTOL Explorer. Kind of nice. And that is Jeb riding the Dragonfly. Pretty. That is so nice. Oh, and that is my attempt at a small little winged craft. Uh, obviously, I made one way smaller than that, but for now, it's pretty cool. I put, like, little cargo things all over it. It's like a... I was thinking to myself, you know, wouldn't it be cool if it was like, um... You know, for mail and everything else. When, when the plane, when aircraft were invented, not only were they used for war, the various war stuff, but they were also used to ferry cargo back and forth. Oh yeah, look, there's a propeller right there. And oh my goodness. So this was the attempt to make like a World War II aircraft. This was, well, well of course that's gone now. Huh? This was before we had propellers. So the aircraft was actually uh, powered by a whole bunch of little ant engines. Hopefully we can see more of it here soon that's the VTOL for um, old career mode that is the advanced uh, dragonfly had a little Kerbal in here that used a little antenna dish to kind of like use as a main shift door okay that's another career mode thing that is a pocket fighter it folds up and everything else I made one more advanced than that later on and that's another career thing trying to get that science that's like at 16 18 thousand meters high via plane Oh, there it is. Okay, it's got like a little bomb. <laughs> and there's the little ant engines. I don't know if you can see that very well. Here's the little ant engines. It worked pretty well. I mean, it took off. It had enough oomph to take off. So I just kind of like imagined that there was a propeller on this thing. This is way back. I forget what version, but it's it was there. It's, uh, it's something. Don't, don't get me lying. I don't know. Oh, there it is again. Okay, yes. Yeah, some sort of high altitude, small little wing thing. Doohickey. Holy shit. Look at that. That is huge. Now this was this was an attempt to not use any engines whatsoever, but yet get a large convoy or cargo or something to the to the North Pole. So I built I built propellers using the whole um, for the new people who, who are into KSP, back in the day before we had propeller parts, we would use a type of trick technique. They would have a another. It'd have like another craft spinning within another craft. So we would have decouplers to detach. It'd have a the the engine itself would be like a shaft with a bunch of reaction wheels on it and power and whatnot, and it would spin while being held by another um, part, creating forward thrust. It worked. It was slow as fuck, and at the time my computer could hardly handle it. It was like 2,000 parts, but it worked. I just didn't have enough. Uh, I just didn't have enough patience to actually, you know, travel <laughs> all the way to the North Pole. So I took a few aerial shots, and that was it. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at all the little ant engines. I pretended that the uh, ant engines were like exhaust pipes. Oh, that was so cute. Look at the look at the old cockpit. I mean, it's cool looking, but you know, I could see where they needed a little bit of help. As the uh, that I think that's the ultimate of pocket fighter that folded up. I think this one was like the ultimate one. No, th this was like the last version. It was super fast and all that jazz. Even had guns. Pew pew. Well, not you know yeah firework things. This right here was an old fighter and it actually had a homemade seat in it that would this top would pop off and it could eject the Kerbal. And if the Kerbal stayed on the seat, it had the seat had a little parachute. Just like uh, in a modern fighter ejection seat. That is the more advanced Firefly. It's even got little missiles, homemade missiles. I call it homemade it's stock, right? And of course, these these came up to reveal the cockpit inside. Oh, there it is. There's a picture. Yep. So there's Jeb, a little cockpit in there. It was pretty good. It was, yeah, it was all right. Oh, there is a uh, passenger craft for career mode. That's pretty. Yeah, I finally was able to go back and rebuild this and use the color mod to really make it shine, but it still looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Very nice, and it worked very, and it worked well too. It just worked like a regular uh, airliner. Oh yeah, this is what I was playing around with the clouds mod, the uh, 
volumetric clouds. Really nice. Uh -huh. Ah, the aviator in me, yes. This one's called the, oh, I forgot, Tiger Shark. Same cockpit concept, but with heavier missiles. There it is again. Yeah, all by its lonesome. Holy shit, this was an SSTO. Yeah, it has to be, because it's got RCS on it. I don't know how this was an SSTO, but it worked. I don't think I could make this thing up again. Maybe for a future video, I'll try to recreate this. Oh, there's my attempt at a um, that old that German World War II German fighter. And there we go with the fighter again with the with the ejection cockpit. This was a VTOL, and it had like a little had like a little army in there of uh, little mech warrior uh, machines. It would dro airdrop them. This was a drone with missiles, homemade missiles. And of course, this was another career mode in order to get science that was like 18, 19,000 meters high or whatever. It was a long range one, so I could fly to a different spot every time. And there she goes, getting that beautiful science. This was, this was way before the 10% science mode. I think this was just regular. And there's another weird aircraft right there. Ah, okay. This was an attempt to uh, recreate the whole airplane. Takes a little tiny little rocket, drops it, and the little rocket goes into space with a tiny little satellite thing. The fuck was that called? Was that Virgin Galactic? Something like that? I can't remember. This was my attempt at getting... Uh, I think that at the, at the time we were doing, like, uh, who could get the highest G-forces. And at the time, mine was the highest... <laughs> 164 G's. I don't even know why the craft didn't blow up in the pieces. Probably because the whole G stress on parts thing wasn't a thing yet. I mean, you could tell this is old. It's got the old whiplash design and the old wing design. So, yeah, there you go. 164 G's. Somebody should be dead right now. Or at least turned into glue. And this is an old really old look at the old this is a really old airliner look at those engines they're freaking and then and look at the back wheels because we didn't have the big landing gears yet all the landing gears were just one size <laughs> that is boop. are real oh there it is yep even <laughs> wow you know i remember when i made this i remember when i made this um somebody Somebody had a temper tantrum in the comments saying that I copied them. Oh, you copied me. Da, 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 da. I remember that. Somebody had a big old temper tantrum. And luckily, I didn't have to say anything because um, my audience kind of jumped on his case. Like, what the hell are you talking about? He even uh, at the time when Twitter was a thing, he even got on Twitter and was like, look, he's copying me. And he showed his version to my version. And his version looked nothing like my version, right? Except for the fact that it had, you know, the elongated fuselage with the three engines. And I'm going, I'm looking at him like, dude, it, we were copying off of, we're, we are literally copying off of aviation of airliners. So it, they probably are going to look similar, but he wasn't having it. That was funny. Moving on. And there is the second attempt at a homemade helicopter. It worked. Don't get me wrong. It worked, but it it now knowing what I know now, if I went back in time and tried to do something, I think I would have made a way better one. But this was, of course, new technology. People were trying to make helicopters in KSP, and this was kind of like my version. It would use engines to spin around and create lift. It worked, like I said, but it was janky as hell. That's the interior of a SSTO, actually. Yeah, well, maybe not. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think it had enough to get up there. Oh, look. That's when they added helicopter parts and whatnot. And I went to town on it. Ooh, silent but deadly. Like a fart. And that is a really cool fold-up um, pocket fighter. I like that one the best, to be honest. It was really cool. Kind of reminded me of Star Wars. There she is again. VTOL, yep, VTOL and everything. 
pretty much like a little transformer. Ooh, the bomber. I remember doing carpet bombs and stuff. What time? Oh, shit. It's been almost a 20-minute video. I'm here sitting here talking. Well, anyway, that's all I got time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry there, I didn't have anything really prepared, but hopefully this whet your appetite. Did I say that right? I can't remember. I don't know. This is early in the morning. I got to get ready for work. But love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully. Since tomorrow's Thanksgiving over here in the States. There's going to be a lot going on. But I will try my best to get out there so the algorithm doesn't drop me again. Anyway. Bye for now. Have a great day. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Get out of here. Go. Get out. Move. Move. Um, a lot of people didn't like the last video that I put out. Huh. Guess I'll never do that again. I mean, I think I think what it was, it wasn't the fact that, you know, I, um, you know, did everything wrong in that last video with the astronauts. But I think it was because of the fact that I acted goofy. And people were put off by that. I don't know. Let me Let me know what you guys think. All right, bye-bye.